The first passage of Jude 6, 148 to 176, begins with giving an order not to speak evil and encouraging doing good and forgiving others even when able to retaliate. The surah then moves on to speak about those people who received divine revelation prior to the coming of Islam, talking to Bani Israel from Ayah 153 while condemning their stubborn demands for evidences, their evil accusations against Maryam in 156, their lies against Isa السلام, that they killed him in 157, them accepting interest, riba, and wrongfully taking others' wealth in 161. 163 talks about the few good amongst them, Ar-Rasikhun, who believed in the true faith, but the majority remained hostile towards the Prophet وسلم, and his message. 170 one onwards is a confrontation with the Nasara regarding their false claim of God having a son or angels to be the children of God or his partners. Concluding this passage, the Surah makes a general call to humanity to accept the final message, which is a condition to remain on the straight path. Ending Surah Nisa with a discussion on the topic of inheritance regarding Kalala, a person who does not leave behind any direct heirs in Ayah 176. The next passage that starts at the beginning of Surah Maida opens with a clear command to fulfill the contracts, be it with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or agreements with each other, continuing with legislation of what is halal and haram, the rulings of hunting, what is permissible in marriage, followed by details of wudu and salah in verse 6, then reminding Muslims that part of their obligation towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also to deal with all people with justice and tolerance in verse 11. In 12 and 14, we find the reference to the covenant that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took from both Bani Israel and Nasara and how both parties violated that contract. 20 to 26 lists the numerous favors that were granted to Bani Israel, but despite that, they remained ungrateful and therefore were punished by being left to wander in the valley of Tih for 40 years, concluding the passage with the story of Habil and Qabil in order to emphasize the sanctity of every human life before listing the legislation around killing, looting, and theft. The last passage of this juz, starting at 41, educates the Muslims to prepare them for their role of leadership, emphasizing in verse 55 who their true friends are, Allah, His Messenger, and the believers who pray, give zakah, and do ruqur, meaning submit to the will of Allah. 57 prohibits Muslims from making friendships with people who mock their faith, giving one such example in verse 64, where the Yahud, when they are told to give charity, they respond by saying, God is poor, we are rich, taking back the discussion to the corrupt beliefs of the Nasara, refuting them in 75, saying that Isa salam is only a messenger. The last ayah in the Juz, verse 82, highlights the quality that many a times keeps people from coming to the straight path, the trait of arrogance. <laughs> Roshan,